Hey everyone, it's Sue here, and I received my July Grace Box Kit from Citrus Twist. So they have um, a faith-based kit, and this is actually my first one, and I'm very happy with it. Um, so I'm working in Matthew, and it's chapter 6, verse 33 and 34. And um, in the kit, they send these three by four cards. And there's actually some questions on the back, which I completed. And I'm going to put this in here as a tip in, but that will be last. The first thing that I did on this page was I prepared it with some clear gesso and gave it a good dry. Now they sent two gelatos two different colors of gelatos and I think I'm just I'm kind of just thinking now um, what I would like to do let me see how this is going to react because I find that sometimes with gelatos I know that you know they're certainly water sol soluble but I find sometimes like they don't, mm, they don't liquefy as much as I would like them to. So let me see how these react. Oh, see these these are great. Sometimes what they do is they leave like the mark, like you can faintly see the mark of where you actually put it on the paper. But in this case, this is. I want to say dissolving, and I know that that's not the right word, but it is um, definitely where you can't see where I put it down. So that's good. That is very, very, very good. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit, whoops, a little bit more around. So at this point, I just want to get some color onto the paper. And in the kit, they sent um, a nice little stamp set, so I'm going to use that, as well as, um, oh, the cutest little stencil. Oh my gosh, wait until you see it. It's, it's really, really, really cute. And a whole bunch of other things. So I'm going to be using several of the items on this page. Okay. So that's it for that color. And you know, a lot of the time when I um when I put color down or when I when I work on a page, I just really like to get a background color. Ooh, isn't that funny? Where's that dark color coming from? See that dark color? Where did that come from? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I hope it goes away. I don't know what that is, but I wiped this, so whatever it is, hopefully it's gone. That was weird. Um, so anyway, let me go ahead. Oh yeah, okay, good. It's it's going away. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that is. So this verse, I'm gonna actually read it to you in the New Living Translation, and again, it's Matthew six. 33 and 34a and this is um, where it's talking about how you know um, that you shouldn't worry about everyday life that you shouldn't worry about clothes that you shouldn't worry about food um, you know like he takes care of the birds he takes care of the lilies of the field you know, so if he does all that, surely he'll take care of us. Now, I'm just saying that. I'm not reading that. That's just kind of like a, a quick overview of the verses before verse 33. So 33 reads, Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. So that's interesting, right? Because, I mean, we, we sh really shouldn't worry about anything, but we do. We're human. We're human. But I think the point is, is, you know, God 
is there. He will take care of us. He will provide. We have to seek him and, um, and his kingdom, right? And he will provide our needs. So, all right. So just a quick dry. And they sent this cutest little stencil called That's Crafty Dinky Stencil. And it's just a little, little thing. So I want to use the black ink from in here. And I'll just pull out one of my makeup sponges. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of stenciling. Um, in this case, I'm going to go just in the margins. You know, sometimes I go over the text like I did with the paint and totally cover up the text. And I am fine with that. Um, but in this case, I'm not going to do that with the stencil. I just want to get a little bit of this design onto the margin. And this is actually called a reverse honeycomb stencil, which I thought was interesting. Yeah, see, I like that. I'm just going to put a little bit up here. So this is going to be an easy peasy page. And I find, you know, Bible journaling to be a, a great way to get in the Word and, and focus on the Word that He has for us. All right. You know, I just did a, a Periscope. I don't know if you're familiar with Periscope, but it's an app on... Android and iOS iOS devices, uh, so Apple, and um, and people came on there. So it's live broadcasting. Uh, what did I want to do here? Pray continually. Uh, that's how it. He will be our peace. So this is one of the stamp set that came with it. And there's a phrase on here that says, he will be our peace. So I'm going to use that. Uh, but anyway, as far as Periscope goes, you know, people come on there and they're like, oh, you know, aren't you defacing, you know, the Bible? And aren't you, um, I I'm just have to think here. Ch -ch 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 -ch. And, you know, oh, isn't that sacrilegious and all this stuff? And, you know, if people want to think that, that's fine. But that's not what I think. I definitely have, I don't know if I want to put this on here twice. Yes, I do. Um, you know, for me, it's a, it's a great way to worship God through art. All right, so that's that. Okay, so they also sent the cute, these cute little stickers that are made exclusively for Citrus Twist. Then they are made by Pink Fresh Studio. Um, and I'm going to pull this one little sticker here that says, For I know who holds tomorrow. Right, because we're to be anxious for nothing. All right, and that's going to go there. And I also have these awesome little arrows that they put in the kit. And I'm thinking maybe I'll put one. And they have these puffy stickers. Love these things. And this one says yes to this. And I'm just going to put that up at the top up here. Let me just make sure I'm getting it on there straight. Oh, sorry for the head. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So let's see. How am I going to get that on there? I think I'll use a little bit of this EK Tools. It's clear. 
adhesive and I'm just going to put a real little bit on the one side and adhere it down and these uh, it's cork uh, so it's a little cork arrow and it's thin it's not thick if it was thick I, I wouldn't use it in my Bible but it's it's fine and so he's talking about the flowers of the field so we're going to go ahead and put some sticky flowers on there and the birds of the air oh you know what yeah that's good and the birds of the air so we have this little cute birdie here without any legs <laughs> cute <laughs> um oh let's see I don't know where to put him where should I put him I don't want to pick that up uh I definitely want to use him but I'm trying not to cover up the text so I think I'll put him right right here I think is fine okay that's good and there's one more little flower right there uh, so let's see so does he talk about fish food clothing birds barns um, the lilies of the field okay so he's not talking about fish right here so otherwise I was going to use that cute little fish um all right so I'm liking this I think we need a couple of these little they're actually crosses I mean well like a plus sign and not an actual cross so they're just like little embellishments so I'm gonna pull off a few of these I'm gonna use the blue ones and a smaller mm, this one up here all right so how cute is that so an easy peasy little page and then like I said what I'm going to do is take some washi tape let me see if I can grab some real quick here um, I think what I'll do is a little smiley face and all I'm going to do, really, really, really easy. You can make this difficult, everybody, or you can just make it easy. <laughs> I'm just going to do this. Well, let's see. Now, chances of me getting this straight are probably pretty slim since I'm not right above it. But that looks pretty decent, I must say. So I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to put, I don't want to cover up my words, so I'm just going to put a little piece over here, just to help it stay on. And there you go, easy peasy. So again, this is the Citrus Twist Kit for the month of July. And um, I really enjoyed using it. I think what I'm going to do is just one more quick, 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 quick little thing here. Real quick, let me grab um, one of my Faber Castell pens. And I'm just going to outline this saying so that it pops just a little bit better on the page. Perfect. Love it. Love, love, love. So I hope that you enjoyed this. If you have any questions about the Bible or Bible art um, or art, God, Jesus, let me know and I will be glad to answer. Okay, thanks everybody. Have a blessed week. Bye-bye.